<laughs> Speaking of pockets, how was your hot pocket? Hot uh, pocket. It was too fast to. Uh, I ate it too fast to even enjoy. Uh huh. But Back I guess I, re I really could have taken my time because here we are, twelve after. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Those things that they're better in the oven though, right? Or a toaster, like a toaster oven. Yeah, if you want to wait forty minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. What is right, your come on. <laughs> oven works? What a minute at a time? Huh? What? Hey, everybody! It's five twelve p.m. in California. March 16th, 2018. Got the chat box right over there. Hey, Romeo Delight, 90 is in here. Uh, more guitars. Yeah, we're on. It says we're. Well, what was that? <laughs> He's getting, getting ready for tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Uh, what? Who's What's in a here? super we easy? way to tell that sorry what what is that sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh oh somebody has their browsers browser wait a minute. Open. sorry they're supposed to wait their, they're supposed to wait their turn it's uh <laughs> we got caleb rapaport what what's up hey man what's up everybody awesome hey. david nesdahl hi hey man how you doing I'm I'm good. Good stuff. Got my, got my cold hot coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Same here. And Jay. Jay Hannon. Hey. Look what I'm wearing, everybody. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> at least somebody appreciates their gift. Awesome. I would appreciate it if I had it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Mine's in the wash. And Dave's, your, yours will be there tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. So, yes. Hey, Connor Johnson's in here. R2R3 Locky Nut. Dry Heat 480. Fender Guru. Blackie DH. John Bill 5150. Yes. Thank you again for the t-shirts. Mm -hmm. And everything. There's so many so many yeah. things over here. <laughs> I know I'm looking around too, looking at all the stuff, the stickers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I gotta decide where I'm gonna stick all those stickers. You know? I know Dave was saying that we should dedicate, you know, them to a guitar. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, no, I said you should. Mm -hmm. You're not going to? No. No. Yeah, you guys have like multiple, multiple guitars to be able to do that. Where I'm kind of, uh, you know. Well, no, I said you should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. <Sorry. laughs> so I'm just trying to get the chat. He's enjoying okay. the show so much he wants to watch it right now. I'm trying to get the chat. <laughs> He's remixing. He looks. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was just doing. If you guys saw my Instagram, I was just down on a on a Mac doing some mixes, remixes, having a lot of fun. I think Caleb should have his own little section in the show called the Rappaport Report. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go, for sure. Or the Rappaport Rap. Uh -huh. No, I like Rappaport Report better. The Rap Report. Yeah. The rap report. Yeah. But it wouldn't be about rap music? No. Hmm. Is that it what they call be, it? Do they call it them? Be about rapping presence. <clears throat> mm -hmm. There probably is a, a, a rap report already. Yeah. Well, Ian Rappaport, if anybody uh, watches football, they know who that is. He's the guy with always, he like always has the late breaking uh, NFL news and stuff. So he's like the rap sheet is his Twitter handle and the rap rap rap. I forget what it's called, but yeah. The, the MFL, the motherfuck, the NFL, the National <laughs> Football League. I play wow. football. I love football. <laughs> if it wasn't for football, I would not be playing football today. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know, that's Bob Nelson. Stand up. This I don't remember because I have Dame Bramage. Yep. This has been brought to you by the United Negro College Fund because the mind is a terrible thing. 
Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Steve Anderson's laughing. That's about it. What was that? <laughs> okay, I heard a bark. That's... My little somebody, pipsqueak somebody. dog down there. I think she she thinks she uh owns the block. Mm -hmm. so. Cool. So what's new? What's new? What's new with you guys? Um yeah. somebody, somebody quick. <laughs> I don't know. There's I gonna be twelve there's gonna be twelve more people nothing. in I've here got, in like twenty minutes. No, I've got nothing to open, nothing new to discuss, nothing oh, yeah. to talk about. You guys do, you have it all. Wait, can't we do the Johnny Johnny Damon? What is his name? Matt Damon, uh, where you get you you book somebody and then you oh sorry, we ran out of time. Steve Anderson, we apologize. <laughs> I'm joking, Steve. He's, he's, he's in here, man. He's he's I'm joking, Steve. Oh, I'll make this quick then before uh, Caleb shows off his uh I'll just open this real quick. Hey, I got an unboxing. But it's it's a small unboxing. That's not what she I hope that's not what she said. Because yes. I'm not going to be able to show this after he shows his guitar. So, From our fen friends at Fender, EVH. Nice. No, it wasn't a gift or anything. but So I got – I can't stop ordering these damn things. Got oh. two more sets of the 5150 sticker. The 5150 Dang. sticker. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> Well, you guys saw I put them on the back of my wife's car, and they look awesome. And I got a uh, EVH T-shirt. Nice. Hey, you can put that on your wall. It'll be like having a sign. Hey, mm. speaking, speaking of that T-shirt, uh, which I think is very cool, by the way, but that tag is like four by six. Has anyone felt that thing? Let me see if I can open this with my... And uh, it kind of sticks to your back if you just get a little sweaty. Check this out. Does it have the big? No. Okay, mine does. Weird. Mine has like this huge, like nylon tag. <laughs> it has this in the back of it. <laughs> oh, maybe I need to pull that out. No, it has like, something thrown in. Oh, well, yours must not be an official one. Oh, this, yeah, this, I got. But I got it from EVA. Right here. This is Caleb. well. You know, Caleb, if you're gonna be doing the rap report, you know, you you can't take the tags off your shoes and your hats. That's you know? illegal. You got to leave them on. Yeah, they have a police force for that. It's a sick bird. Hold on a second. Look, it looks like the tag was cut off. See that? Not only that, but you better return that shirt. Because I can see right through it. Uh -huh. well, Bad stitching. Well, my wife's, this is actually a nice thin material. You know? What's it made out of? Edward Van Halen. That's what it's made out of. Okay. Yeah, R2, R3. You know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Whoops. What the devil? I'm so sorry, guys. Sam Hale. <laughs> that's, his, that's his theme music for the for the rap report. I'm on, I'm on live with that show. I mean, this is like this is from <laughs> with that show. I'm in line with that show. I mean, this is directly from Fender, so I mean, it's not like it's a you know. I'll call you later. Don't people know that there's a mute button? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know that. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm just busting. All right. So now the, the 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 intro, the opening band is done. Let's see the uh good stuff. I have a couple things. Um uh let me tell this story first. Uh I I give I give this guy lessons, this kind of wealthy dude, and uh he's got many, many guitars and he took me into his studio and he had like several guitars hanging on the wall and he had this tobacco sunburst axis hanging there. And I was like, where'd you get that thing? And he said, someone gave it to him like 10 years ago. He's never played it. So I told him to go get it set up and he did. And then we started doing these little lessons and uh, I saw him recently after not seeing him for a while. And I asked him if I could borrow the axis. And he said, yeah, sure. And then I said, well, you call me when you need it. And he gave me this look like, yeah, right. Yeah, I'll be calling you. So basically, booyah. 
this thing is so sick. I just had it redone with nines and had the action lowered and had the the uh, detuna put on it. And it's like the best guitar I've ever played in my life. I mean, it, it feels wow. so perfect. It's amazing. So I don't know what year it is. It's, it's got the same headstock. I, I, I don't know if that's a tell of what year, because I know they, they make them with just the, the maple headstock too. But amazing. So that, that happened Dang. this week. <laughs> and then uh, we've been talking about the 5150 builds. And I am looking at that now, guys. What do you think? I like the silver. Is that silver or gray? It's the 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 name of it on the spray can is stainless steel. Yeah, it looks great. There is a little <laughs> sparkle in it. Yeah. Wow. And that's different than your hot for teacher, correct? Yeah, my hot for teacher is just a flat gray with a with a darker gray sort of gradient running through it. This has a little I sparkle. I really like that. Yeah, I, I I'm happy. That's for sure. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm like torn if I want to put the red stickers on it. It would pop, man. I'm telling you, that would look badass. Okay. I would look for black ones. Do they have them? I think you can find some. What, what okay. about what about like like? Uh, I could like, trace them on on like on you know black space tape, right? You know, why don't you take your why don't you take your red ones to a uh, a vinyl like a guy that does vinyl signs? Mm -hmm. and have him make black vinyl ones for you. Because that's an actual font, and they they could do that. They can make make it exact size in black. Great idea. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if you can color like in the red ones with some sort of marker, and it would. I wouldn't it would do it. Still have the reflection, but it'd be kind of like a film. You know what I mean? Like no, because uh, uh, what we've been doing forever on our fifty one fifties, or most of us, is you put black sharpie outline on 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 it. Yeah. Like, Eddie's, Eddie's has a black Sharpie outline. I don't know if it's a Sharpie, but it's a black magic marker outline. Uh, and it, it just makes it black. It doesn't, it doesn't show any, any, uh, uh, gotcha. anything in, inside of it. And it's sloppy looking. It, it's not, it's not, yeah. It's not like the ones you have from EVH where the black is really prominent. Right. Okay. Well, now I have to wait like three weeks for the neck. So I got nothing to do. <laughs> but i'm gonna put a 78 in it and uh oh i had a question for everyone what do you guys think should i go chrome or black floyd I, chrome I just no doubt or i would do chrome i think chrome okay. would look really good on that stuff because mm -hmm. I, I, I have black all my floyds are black you know so I would. I should get a chrome. I was thinking about the eighty-four, but I don't know. I'm not crazy about the gold, uh, the brass um, fine tuners. Well, I mean, you can if you if you want to get the appointments of an eighty-four without the brass fine tuners, you can call Floyd Rose directly. I can give you their number. Okay. Uh, speak to Sarah, who is my contact. And tell her that you want an original Floyd Rose with the old style collar and a, and a, a fat brass block on it and ask them to put it on for you so okay. that it, it's all together when they uh, when they do it. You know, it'll you know, the, there's probably going to be an upcharge for the block, but um, I mean, it can't be that much money. And it'll be a regular Floyd Rose with the black fine tuners on it. Cool. Thank you. No awesome. Yeah. All right. There's the rap report. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Beaver Ninja. David Addis. Hey, man. <laughs> wow. I had to pull my. Uh... <laughs> I'm aiming this way. Had to pull my laptop closer so I could see the uh, the uh, the chat. Um, I was gonna say what would look good on there uh, instead of black uh, decals, 
would be like the uh like prism like 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 the uh like the ones that are on like 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 the green pv know what, know what i mean dave oh yeah oh, the silver yeah the big one but they the don't silver. make it they don't yeah, make also it like your, from the address like you can put them on for for your address you're on your mailbox right those ones he's mm -hmm. looking up your address Okay. Yes, but no. Th th I think that would look cool. I I think that color, you know, because because they're kind of like like, huh? Yeah. If I could get it in the in the font that's on the fifty one fifty though. Hmm. You know I've been reading I mean? this whole time, and I'm like, why isn't anybody? Why is everybody just talking when I'm talking? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of rude people in here. Oh, just wait. <laughs> so I was gonna say. When Caleb just mentioned uh, the, the the stickers for your address, does everybody? Because I went to Home Depot today, real quick. Does anybody else do this when they walk past that section where they have all the stickers and things for? Does anybody look for this style of sticker? Because I do every time. I used to, yeah, I used to, but I know they don't do it. Yep. Where did he get them? Some truck stop, right? No, he did. He got the reflectors at a truck stop. Oh. That that style was probably more. Uh, is it readily available? Is that the right? Back back during that time, I think. Well, I it think. probably came with all the numbers and some shapes because they had the stars too. Were in the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was probably like several sheets of like every like the whole alphabet, you know, one to ten or well, whatever it is. Got them at an art store or something. Yeah uh hey paul glover good to see you man brian davies welcome man so yeah. rando uh made a comment before when everybody was talking over me because my microphone was muted <laughs> um he kind of feels the same way i do hey, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay the um like when you look hold that guitar up again or the body uh Caleb, like I look at that body and I'm like, man, the, I think the Black Floyd would look that's awesome. That's right, yeah. But the, I mean, you can, like you can never go wrong with Chrome because Chrome is, you know, that's I prefer Chrome as well. But man, with the little bit amount of black on there with the Black Floyd, that's a that's a that's a tough uh, decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm having a real hard time because. Uh, I, I was thinking Chrome all along, and then I'm just like, the Black Floyd will just pop off this thing. The black tuners? Yeah. What, I don't know. What What about a gray Floyd? You mean like a nickel? Like, it's not gray. Like, let's say you just take a Chrome or a Black Floyd and you just spray paint it that, same, co that same color. No. He's trying to say that with a straight face. Spray paint it? Well, you... Hmm? No, they sell. Um, which we've, we've seen the Floyds that that are that are painted. They have red Floyd, yeah. <laughs> red one. No, they have satin chrome. There, there's the white. They probably have them professionally done now. But I remember, I remember there was ones that was well. I'll find a, a picture. And I think they kind of flake. They kind of flake off and stuff. Yeah, Caleb. If you go to FloydRose.com, they have. Um, different finishes for the Floyd. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen yeah. it. I, I kind of like, I like the, the satin chrome. That mm -hmm. kind of dull chrome looks great. But I don't yeah. know if it'll work on this, but I, that's that's like the, the next Floyd I wanted to get was the satin chrome. Yeah, or like or like something like that, you know? See how it's like flaking off? Yeah. Well, that's because yeah. someone actually painted that white. Probably, probably... Well, whoever built it for Eddie. Because back then, they you had to paint them. When I worked for Gem Guitars, uh, we used to paint the Floyds as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. It looks like maybe this was a gold Floyd that was painted white. Now, I don't want to get nuts here, Caleb, but what if you... Mixed and matched. What if you put a black Floyd with chrome saddles or vice versa? You know? <laughs> yeah. 
black bar on a chrome or a chrome bar on a black one yes that's <laughs> what i'm talking about <laughs> speaking of getting crazy uh oh yeah somebody who just jumped in here <laughs> hey guys how's it going <laughs> Hey, man. Well, I'm not, I'm not used to seeing you in the daylight. <laughs> daylight savings, Steve. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Daylight savings time. Happy 50 Fun 50 Friday, everyone. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got, okay. I got I to gotta break uh, Steve's balls just a little bit here. No, no, no. Do it. <laughs> oh. So last night, I'm, uh, I'm striping this thing, right? And... Uh, and I sent him a text. Uh, um, what? How long? How how wide is the outside line on the fifty one fifty? Half inch. And and yeah, it was half inch. And so I I I wait like maybe fifteen minutes. He 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 answers, and then and then like comes a barrage of texts. But it's the instant messenger, so it was like ding, ding every ding. second, like ding and. Every single thing throughout the whole painting process, I'm getting in a in a book form from Steve, and I'm like, Steve, and I'm just trying to look at my picture that's on my phone of <laughs> of, of the guitar, and, and I keep getting like you know alerts over it from Steve. It was hilarious. It, it never ended. It was so funny. Anyway, I love you. Man. I love I love the passion. I love it. Hey Caleb, he's, uh, telling, he's telling me about the the stickers and all the thing, and I'm like, dude, I'm just striping this thing. We're not, we're so far away from stickers. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. No, it looks awesome, Caleb. And Thank uh, you. Just so, uh, Caleb, just so you know, I've got an original Floyd Rose right here. So if oh. you want that, if you want this, we'll just oh. get your give me your address, and I'll send oh. it to you. Woo! What? Um, Man, you're kidding. I'm not kidding. It's right take, here. Take okay, my address is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that that was taken right out of the Dave Nesdal playbook, right there. That's right. I only learned from the best. You're a beautiful <laughs> man. I, and without Dave Nesdal, this wouldn't have existed. This whole thing you're looking at. <laughs> man. Oh. That was that was awesome. Wow, Steve. Thank you. Oh my God. No, no, no problem, Caleb. Oh my goodness. It's hey, sitting Caleb, on the floor. It needs to be on a guitar. It's, I don't have room for it. Oh, wow. What, what else you got on the floor? Yeah. Uh, Steve, I kind of like those blinds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Except they're not sitting on the floor. <laughs> Man. All right. Yeah, I got now, lots please. of things to send out, uh, Caleb, to all the guys. So, uh, yeah, I'll just add you to the list. Beautiful. It is, it is my half birthday next week, so thank you. Happy birthday. Half, 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 half birthday. birthday. By the way. <laughs> what does that even mean? Guys, it's it's guys, it's guys. 316. It's like Wolfgang Van Halen's birthday today. Yes. So happy birthday uh, to Wolfgang. Happy, yeah, we know you're watching, Wolf. Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah. Happy birthday, Wolfgang. Wow, 27, right? Yeah. yeah. I was born in 91. Yeah. 27. That's Eddie has an almost 30 year old kid. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Caleb, I think someone, someone asked. <laughs> so, sorry. What? Who? Huh? Uh, <laughs> I was saying you could really get crazy with that guitar. See, now you got me thinking of all the like the black and the chrome stuff. <laughs> you can uh you can order or you can get some black strings from DR. Oh my God! Oh, please, That's crazy. Please, please don't do that. I won't. <laughs> Believe me, Dave. I won't. I'm just saying. Uh, someone asked about the neck. The neck's coming from Music Craft, uh, and it's the 8191 EVH. And yeah. uh, that's what this one has, Caleb. Yeah, I didn't yeah. do the quarter song. I just did the rock maple and and kept it kept it in its inexpensive, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So. It should, it's going to take a little longer. It's probably going to be. He said four to six weeks, and that was a week ago. So it's going to be. It's going to be a little while. So this thing's just going to be sitting around, collecting dust. Yeah, they're super. Sure it, won't be, it won't be collecting dust. You'll be looking at it and what? <laughs> just send it to me. It won't get any dust on it'll, it. It'll be, it'll be collecting lust. Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah, Music Craft has to, has to be super busy right now because uh, I know lots of guys ordering bodies and necks, and even me, I've got a body coming in a neck, and yeah, so uh, that's good for Music Craft. Yeah, I'm excited. I got the I got the body from another company just because it was half the price, and and it was nearby in Oxnard here, and and, and a guy, you know, he he had it ready, he had it sent to me within a week. So, what's the name of that outfit, Caleb? That's called K N E guitar. Oh, K N E, great. Yeah, they're great. K N E is yeah. great. No, he the body was beautiful before mm -hmm. I did all this to it. I like get it, it. Just you know, there's that there's that moment where you're like, I don't want to do anything to this thing. You know, like yeah, I had that the same thing. <laughs> I didn't you know. Even want, I was gonna get another body in that because I love the way this looked, just as poplar and you know maple. Like I someone was someone popular. should do like stripe it and then varnish it so that the lines are are unvarnished how cool would that be that's what i was thinking about doing <laughs> no like so the wood it's all wood anybody there's an idea oh, out there i yep. didn't somebody do that oh someone Probably. did remember dave dave you see remember there's a 5150 guitar out yeah. there that's that's <laughs> all made of wood i mean literally like all the stripes are all like like wood mm -hmm. yeah i've seen it is that <laughs> oh yeah I don't uh, think that's exactly what you're what you're saying, but um, guys, talk amongst yourselves. I have an unboxing, and uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh huh. Are you yeah, gonna do should, that on here? We should we should talk while you're unboxing. That what? doesn't uh, wait. Did you want to open that on here? Uh, I do because this He's is got something... another camera on the other computer on another program. Yeah. No. No. I, I've talked to Dave about this already, and he's corrected me. So. Um, it's okay. I'm happy really? that I got it. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know what you're talking about. No, I know. There's so much going on with everyone, but we've had this conversation. Oh. You know, I can actually do an unboxing today too. All right. I got a, a Blu-ray disc player and some DVDs. Nice. Actually, I didn't get it. My lovely lady here got it for us. You still watch but DVDs? I, I box it. Well, Blu-rays now. Blu-rays? You still watch Blu-ray? Blu Blu-rays? Those are old. Well, what are you now. watching? <laughs> streaming man we're streaming over here hey, See, man, i got like a hundred i got like a hundred van halen concerts on vhs i can light up if you want <laughs> light it up <laughs> no betamax uh, i used to yeah i used to that's where all the adult films were uh, made on <laughs> <laughs> no those are projectors i heard yeah so i've been told <laughs> <laughs> read it somewhere johnny's yeah. used to getting uh photo uh, uh video on huh? so wait well, are you unboxing that on here yes i am because dave nesdell's here oh well, well wait a minute we i have no idea what you're even doing hang on all right there you are there. what i just opened the box oh this is from that alien nation place again uh -oh. oh okay <laughs> well, i know what it is i know what yeah, it He's he going to show another his, bookmark. He's going to show off his vi his vintage nuts. Yeah, yeah. This this is another um, bookmark from Alien Nation. I didn't order that. And again, look at this. I got another Alien Nation guitar pick. So now I have two. Look at that. Cool. Yeah, very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Uh. Yeah, guys, so this here is... Uh, oh, there's more. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the actual item. I thought it was the pick. Yeah, so guys, just all the replica guys out here that are doing the Kramer 5150 builds and that, these are called the, the humpback saddles for the R2 nut. Um, so Dave will correct me, and he actually already did because he told me, like, uh, I guess the Ed's original Floyd and even uh, the humpback saddles at the nut were actually sort of handmade and They're more German. They have hand tooled marks. They're they're yeah. they're uh yeah, they were prototypes. They're all hand done. Yeah. So anyway, again, someone sort of threw the blinds over me and said, "Oh, these this is a prototype R two, uh, like compact saddles, uh, just like uh, from 1983 or 82 or whatever." But uh, these were 200 bucks. Dave informed me that to get ones that are sort of hand tooled, they're like double the price, like 400. But uh, more. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, guys, just for me, just visually, 
you know, I'm, I'm halfway there as far as the uh, having the correct nut on there. But it's okay. You're actually you're actually all the way there because they're really I have both on my guitars. I have that exact nut, and I have a real old ones as well. And they're, <laughs> wait, we're talking they're, about. The <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Don't laugh, Desiree. Don't laugh. Uh, it's it's really that that is just as good quality as as a real old vintage nut. I wouldn't. You, there's nothing wrong with it. It's actually an awesome piece. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just. Uh, it's just. Been, it's been. And they like, work really well. That that nut works really well. But don't yeah. think you're going to put those humps on a nut that's already on your guitar. You got to change the whole nut because those are going to be smaller than the one that's on your guitar already. Right. Right. Yeah. No. I just. Uh, it's just been baby steps. I'm trying to get it like as close as I can. Like I have the whale tail Floyd coming. Now I've got this, so I'm, I'm getting closer, and it's it's been fun, just the whole journey, and and still looking for stuff, right, uh, to be accurate. So uh, yeah, cool. But thanks, uh, thanks for the info, Dave. Speaking no of nuts, speaking of nuts, um, uh, Steve, that Floyd, uh, is it going to come with one, or do I need to order a, a an R two for mine? Uh, I'll dig Caleb, and I'll I'll uh, no, I'll I'll get it. I'll get it. Just. I just wanted to know so I can order it. You don't have to. Dig. I, I just I have to look. I got tons of stuff, right? So I might have one just sitting there. <laughs> All right. So we'll uh, messenger we'll messenger about it later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll send you about four thousand other messages. I hope so. <laughs> well, you know, why don't, since since you know you're in a great mood, Steve, why don't I just offer for you and just why why don't you take the nut that's on your fifty fifty one fifty off and give that one to him. Yeah, and, exactly. And put, and put the humpback one on on your guitar. You got it. Like exactly. I there figured you know, go. it's not nothing off my back. You know, I can offer all your stuff as much as I want. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so so Dave's offering You're, me Steve's nuts right here. You're okay, gonna get cool. this nut. <laughs> this one's going on this one, <laughs> and then I'm gonna send you this Floyd. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And you know, what do I get for putting this deal together? I have a box coming no. your way. I just <laughs> I've got I've got boxes for everybody. <laughs> there's more unboxings. Yeah, there's more coming. Just wait, uh, should we do an unboxing of that Floyd that's coming from Steve to me? Or yes. that's is that overkill? Oh no, no. 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 We we need to do unboxings uh, <laughs> of, of, of boxes. Uh, unboxing. Yep. <laughs> Or, or unboxing of boxing. Yeah. yeah. That's all we do now is unboxings. That's, that's what this channel is about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, it's Bozik. Pour, it's pouring here. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's been sunny up here on uh, the southern tip of Vancouver Island uh, for the last couple of days. So the rain's gone from here. Mm -hmm. sounds so nice up there i remember i was in vancouver and the air was like candy well yeah and it's even clearer over here on the island yeah yeah because i'm from los angeles so wait I, yeah hello hello ben oh, okay hello. There. He's back. He's back. Coombs. <laughs> for some reason it's not turning here are you flying <laughs> you <a> <laughs> there we go. There we go. He's Take off, ben, Coombs. ben Coombs with the crap report report. He's in the he's in the ISS. I just hope one time they'll buy me a helicopter. My chest is so sore and tired. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Hang on. We're gonna fill up this whole screen on the bottom with people. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've reached our Canadian quota with two though. Yeah. yeah. That's delirious. <laughs> yeah. What is that? It's the it's the BB BB eight helicopter. Okay, oh, uh -oh. cool. Uh -oh. Dave leaves that in the top drawer next to his bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly uh -oh. what I was thinking. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Let me Dave, send it to me. Yeah, <laughs> Let me box that. Yeah. Thanks you for gonna it, you're gonna put it right on top of your clitoris, Jay. Whoa! Oh. What the heck? Poof! <laughs> you are wearing the poof shirt. Oh yeah, Steve. <laughs> you like it? 
Yeah, yeah. Looks good, right? Someone's sending me one. Johnny got my address the other day. Oh, you got to know who's sending it to you. <laughs> yeah. Somebody sent it to me. Don BL5150. Yeah, yeah. That's the man with the plan. Awesome. Yes, apparently sending me one too. So thank you, John. I didn't want to say anything until I got it, but I appreciate it. That's hey, awesome. Caleb, are you Caleb? Are you drinking any alcohol right now? No. Oh, good. Can you I'm, hoping, I'm hoping later, like if we have the late show with Johnny Bean tonight, I'm hoping you'll get in your car and go to In and Out Burger and get a double double. <laughs> that's that's entirely possible. Oh man. <laughs> Hi, Hazel. Hi. Oh. Why is your dog crying? She hasn't seen me. I'm at my folks' house. They 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 have a dog. Oh, it's okay. My dog is like looking for the dog. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Everybody? Here, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. You want to say hi? Hello. Say hi, Hazel. Hey, Hazel. Hey, this dog. It's so weird. Every I I come over here like maybe once a week, and the dog attacks me. Like it's like one of those videos of a of a of a uh, a soldier returning. From, yeah, from like a, a, a tour, like every time I come over, I, she she knocks me down and licks me. It's like it's the craziest thing. It's, a it's love, love, man. It's love. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. It's a King's X song. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Great band. Yes. <laughs> Gotta love King's X. Got it. Hey Ben Coombs, what's going on? What's your not, story? Not much. <laughs> I got a new room. I'm going to be broadcasting from here, and uh, I was going to say, "What's your name, Joe Wentz?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, inspiration leads to inspiration, right? Yes. Are those all pedals on the shelves up there? Yeah, that's. Uh, those are the ones that are not on my two current pedal boards, and I'm still looking for a few some amp heads, and yeah. So what, Gu uh, Ben? Hey, Ben, what pedal don't you own? <laughs> You, you have a lot of pedals there. All the good ones. Okay. <laughs> I've gone through all the low-end stuff, so now it's, you know, upgrading. And I'm never happy with my tone. I'm always searching for something new to play with, so. You felt it. Right on. Yeah. How's the weather out there, Ben? Um, it's been, what, four or five degrees the last few days. Uh, we finally had no snow today, or oh. since early yesterday, finally. Dave knows what I'm talking about. You guys have been getting it worse than we have, actually. It's been skirting just south of us, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, four or five degrees Celsius, folks. So it is it is the snow slowly melting. <laughs> right on. Just about gone. Just about gone. So. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's raining here. <laughs> Sun shower right now. Ooh. Oh. How it's terrible. Still sunny out there? Yeah, we have the sun here. It's uh, daylight savings time. Okay. See, look at Steve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at Steve. I'm look looking at, at Steve. I've, I've, I've never. Let's seen... all look at Steve. Johnny's <laughs> got daylight. Johnny's I've never seen daylight. Steve before. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Caleb, Steve, and I, we're all on the same same side of the planet. That's the same. Yeah. We're on half the west on the coast. coast, half on the west. All those guys on the West Coast. This wait, the Earth's of, flat, though. This side of the Earth is going to... Wow, wait a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Lifting up. Can't, I can't stand up, though, because you'll see stuff. <laughs> Whoa. BB-8. Nuts. You'll see nuts. Hang on a second. Let me show you yeah. my nuts. You guys want to see my nuts? No. Look. Oh, there you go. They're my nuts. <laughs> We're about to see Dave's R8. <laughs> so dave i got to try a nice guitar last weekend well actually a couple of nice guitars last weekend what'd you get to try i did a demo of the new eric johnson strat and the brad paisley tele oh cool wow. and how did you like yeah. those uh the brad paisley blew me away it, like it's a Mexican build. It costs twice as much as what my Mexican telly costs. But then when you play it, you realize, okay, this would have been like 2,500 US if it was US build. You know, like mm -hmm. it's got a twisted telly in the neck. It's got a custom pickup in the bridge. Amazing pots, amazing neck. Uh, it was a polonia wood core with a spruce top and uh, back. Uh -huh. Weigh, weighs just in at six pounds flat. Plays amazing. And the Eric Johnson Strat. I'm not really a Strat guy, but same price point as a Elite Strat. 
and first time playing with the trem system with five springs uh that was different <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yeah it was yeah. interesting though and no string trees right no string trees on those yeah and the weight was crazy if weigh even though it's you know a semi hollow body it seemed to weigh as much as any other strat so they must be using some nice dense wood hmm yeah that's cool yeah. is the whole thing hollow or just the top just the top okay from what i could tell anyway so but then again, I guess there's not a whole lot in the bottom once you co- take out the control cavity and right? you got the lower horn anyway, so. It's majorly yeah. chambered. Yeah. Cool. Be right back, guys. Okay. Hey, uh, Ben, what's the color scheme of the Brad Paisley guitar? What color is that one? Uh, that one is like a silver sparkle shot nitro with no clear over top. So it's wow. going to wear off in no time flat. And then yeah. it's a clear pick guard with black paisleys on it. And I immediately asked the owner, can I order one of those pick guards for one of my blonde tellies? Because I think that would look so cool. Yeah. And I was like, no. no that guy, can. that guy can play. <laughs> yes. That, he is so good. He doesn't even have to sing. He is such yeah. a good player. Yeah. That is that was, that's kind of rude of the guy not to, uh, you know, make something like that available to you. <laughs> hey, I know. Well, you know, most OEMs are that way for at least the first year or two, right? You can't buy any of the parts off the signature guitars. Yeah, right. And then after a year or two, then all of a sudden the Eric Johnson pickups are available or the Brad Paisley pickup will be available. And then I will start thinking about it. I'd love to get the guts out of one of those Brad Paisley tellies and dump them into one of mine. Oh, I could not believe it. The volume swells and the tone swells available. Oh, couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. What what did you think of the uh, the shape of the neck? Loved it. Loved it uh compound radius um trying to think of the size 10 and a half no nine and a half but with a slight compound uh not overly flat kind of a richie thought it would kind of felt like a bit of a v offset v shape but i didn't know i'm terrible for telling neck profiles that way i just know it felt really really comfortable light satin finish that you could take off with nothing so yeah amazing guitar Mm -hmm. 1600 canadian so, so uh, Ben, between the two guitars, if you were to say which one you liked uh, between the two, which one would you want to have right now? <laughs> oh, I take the, I take the Telly in a heartbeat. Oh, okay. But I'm biased, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like I, I, I looked at the price tag and I was like, you know what? For three hundred bucks more than that Strat, I could buy two of these Paisley Tellys. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just thinking outside of money, right? Like, which, oh, for, yeah. me, it's, it's, for me, it's always what feels the best, right? Well, yeah. even then, it would be that Paisley Tully. The fact it was only six pounds, it was so light. I was like, <laughs> man, you can play four sets with this and no problem, <laughs> you know? Well, I mean, the Strat should be pretty light, too, since it's a semi-hollow. No, it, it seemed quite heavy. I'd say it was a good seven and a half. Cool. At least. Wow. Yeah. That was the nose bolt because when we were trading off guitars, I couldn't believe how much lighter the telly was. And I'm thinking, I thought this is supposed well, to be like a thin line. You know? It's spruce. You know, that yeah. it's, you know, spruce is super duper light. Yeah. It's uh, just a thin uh, layer of spruce over the, but uh, was it Polonia? I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm saying that yeah, right. Polonia, I, Polonia yeah, Polonia. I don't is know how dense super it, light. It's got to be light. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I remember saying when we shot the demo, I went, this feels six pounds if it's an ounce. And then I looked it up when I got home and I went, well, six pounds even. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Nice balance. That's, that's actually a heavy piece of Polonia. Mm-hmm. Six pounds for Polonia is heavy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Steve, is your neck unfinished on that 5150? Uh, no, it has a bit of lacquer on it. So you got something? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I ordered mine unfinished. Oh, you did? Yeah. Was that yeah. all right? Talk amongst yeah. yourselves. Be right back. Okay. Is everyone going away? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. No, no. We'll, we'll take over. No problem. Uh, yeah, Caleb. So this one, I just wanted a bit of lacquer on the neck uh, just to protect it a bit. But I, I can't tell... All, all, all my guitars are like that. They all, uh, there's a similar uh, feel to them, uh, whether it's the Fender Strats or the Sh- Charvel. Your, your uh, art series were unfinished, though, right? They didn't come with anything on them. I don't believe. Was that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, I believe. Huh. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Huh. 
That's actually surprises me, but yeah, that's cool. Yeah, those feel great. <laughs> those uh, that, that, the, that neck is is probably the best neck I've felt in an in an in an EVH guitar. So on this, oh, yeah. on, the, on for personally, I yeah. Mean, yeah, because for me, Caleb, for me, Caleb, it's just the fact that like, like I love what Eddie's doing, like releasing all the Stripe series guitars, but it's it's an R three nut, not the R two. And mm -hmm. I know it's like a it's sort of a geeky sort of being too picky about it thing. But when you're no. when you've played for thirty years, <laughs> you and I played Fender Strats all the time, and and then the Charvel EVH art series from two thousand four feels similar to my Fender Strats. So that's that's the feel I like, right? Yeah. So with the well, RT, I mean, so yeah. Then the neck on his US Festival guitar was an R five. Really? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I think I think so the guys, bumblebee the bumblebee neck was too. Like you could tell just by looking at it. It's it's like a, a land it's like a, a, a runway. <laughs> All right. So guys explain to me the, the neophyte when it comes up. What's the difference between R two, R three, etc.? It's just the width of the of the nut yeah okay. so so this yeah. one then this one ben the r2s an inch and five eighths okay uh wide and then when you go to r3 it's a bit wider r4 it's a bit wider r5 like caleb's saying is really wide so okay. it depends what you like like a lot of jay's ibanez guitars he plays are very wide yeah for sure yeah yeah they're like a you know, an inch and three quarters wide, I think some of them. So it right. depends what you like as far as the, the actual width, like going mm -hmm. low E to high E, yep. like yep. like this way. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I get it. Yeah, going back and forth between Les Pauls and Tellys, I get it. Yeah. I, yeah. My my new neck is going to be a 1.65. So it's it's the second R2. It's the, okay. It's like a little wider than, than the one Steve's got, just a, a hair wider. So. Hmm. Nice. You ordered that on purpose, I guess, obviously like that, Caleb? Yeah, I don't want the absolute thinnest one. I, I, I know that just for my hands, they're gigantic. So but right, I do right. I do like I don't like it too too wide at the top. So right. but I don't like it too narrow either, if that makes any sense. So. I think Jay and Johnny probably started their own chat. <laughs> All right, who's got to answer the phone? Uh, that was me. Mm -hmm. That's good. It wasn't me. Mine's over there. <laughs> I'm tweeting. Oh. oh. <laughs> what, are you, what are you tweeting us to? <laughs> He's just remembering to share the show. Mm -hmm. So, Caleb, you said your, you, the, your, um, your neck is 1.625? Yeah, or it's... It's the it's the the second R R uh, two. It's, so it's one and five eighths. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe. that's that's normal. That's Fender. That's Fender spacing. Okay, it was the second. It's a, there's a big you know there's a, a list of of the nut sizes and it was the second one, not the first one. So mm -hmm. yeah, cool. Yeah. Yes. So will will, uh, will will that not fit it then? If it's it's still on R two. Yeah, R two okay. is is R two. Yep. So Ben, how's your show been going? Uh pretty good. Uh, it's been growing, you know, a little steadily. Uh, you know, get a few subs each week, more and more. You see the numbers for live streams trickle up. Uh, you know, an extra person here and there and stuff, and then. Yeah, at times it levels out, as they say, you know, you see the same number of people all the time, but it's different people, and that's great. And uh, steadily, people are checking out the channel all the time, 24-7, and just keep on keeping on. You know, it's like Johnny said, the first time you tuned in, he's like, wow, this is like a 90s cable access show. And I thought, yeah, we're Wayne's World. You know, we just keep <laughs> it simple, and, uh, you know, we're not out there doing rocket surgery, as they say. So. Well, that's what we all are. All these yeah. shows are the same. Yeah, and, you know, people like this it. This is all like cable access. Yeah, and I wouldn't have it any other way. No, this is great. I'm, I'm yeah. thinking of writing this into a movie, all these characters. <laughs> 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 Too good. Yeah. And yeah. Okay, it's, it's like the scenes in the movie where you keep going back to those characters on the... On, uh, on it's the like Clerks. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> They're just there. That? 
you got to ask four people to play everybody. Everybody plays like four parts too, right? Yep. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll definitely have a guy who's vaping and 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 you know during during the show. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do have a tendency to vape a lot while I go live. So. Mm -hmm. so, huh? So do you do you vape like all day? Yeah, pretty much. Like you wake up and is it like like actual cigarettes? So let's say if. Did you start vaping? To, to, did you quit smoking? To yeah, I smoked for twenty five years, and I was a fairly heavy smoker, so I just replaced it with vaping. And, you're still yeah, smoking. Yeah. yeah, pretty <laughs> exactly. I That's still evolved. smoking. Yeah, it's I just a, evolved in how I get my nicotine. Is all. Yeah, it's That's like a different. Become... It's a different kind of lung disease now, or basically that they're saying. It's like, like it's what's a popcorn yeah, lung or something? When, you can get ah, popcorn ah. lung if you allow these things to run out of juice and you actually burn the cotton coil inside. That's how you get popcorn lung. As oh, long as you don't God. do that, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was a, I'll yeah, try there was it. a multi-year study in the UK and they found it was 95% less harmful than smoking cigarettes. So I went, all right, well, that's better than smoking cigarettes. Definitely. So. Definitely. Hey, Ed, Eddie does it, so I'll do it. <laughs> well, there we go. I need a Stripe Series uh, vape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I used to stripe up my lighters. When, when, I, when I smoked as a teenager, I would buy the, uh, the, I'd buy a white lighter and then get the red and the black um, like plastic tape. Yeah. Or whatever that stuff is. And then stripe it up. I did that probably to like two or three different, different lighters. And then, and, then, and then somebody bought me a little drill lighter. And this is around the time of pound cake. <laughs> so I had a little drill. Stripe right. that thing up? Yeah. And, and you would click it and, you know, the, the flame would come out, you know. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I was never a heavy smoker, though. I mean, I would say I smoked maybe, uh, maybe like, maybe 10 cigarettes a day at the most. Wow. Which is nothing, right? Yes. Well, that's like one an hour. Oh, is it? Well, then less than that. Less than, you know, you wake up in the morning hacking, so you have to have one. Hey, Johnny. Johnny, Scott Nickerson wants you to give him a rundown of the new Strat. The huh? new Strat that Johnny got? He wants to give you, you, you to give a quick rundown of the new Strat, of your new Stratocaster. A rundown? Yeah, it yeah. says... I Johnny think, B, uh, would you give us a rundown of the new Stratocaster, please? I think Johnny needs to do that on a show, on a different show on like Stratterday. Okay, Stratterday. <laughs> Stratterday. Yeah. Special Stratterday. Or, or the late show tonight, maybe. <laughs> yes. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, Scott. And Scott should be up. He's in Edmonton, so he'll be up. He's only an hour behind you. Mm -hmm. Or an hour ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Come, come back later, and I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Ah, uh, cigarettes. You're talking about smoking. Yeah. Lighter. Don't no, lose. Says he smoked five packs a day. What oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> How could you smoke them off each other, dude? You, you light them off smoking. each other. <laughs> that, that actually, that's, that's. I don't think that's that much. Five packs a day. I mean, I mean it is. Oh, Are it you is. insane? It is, but I've known I've known people that have smoked five packs a day. Oh my God, so, that's a hundred cigarettes. I'm I'm thinking Ben was up to that. How many packs did you smoke? <laughs> no, I, I was a pack a day, but a Canadian pack's also twenty five smokes. So, <laughs> oh, Canada rules. Yeah. Are they, are they smaller though? And they taste are, so are much they... better than American cigarettes. They're so much cleaner tasting. <laughs> Ah, oh. got us beat. You just got us beat constantly. We do. I know. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, well, you're pretty much an honorary Canadian, Caleb. I follow Thank you on social media and we chat. Like, dude, yeah, you are. <laughs> you're more of a Canuck than a lot of Canucks I know. I'm. I'm one of you. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll be getting a package guessed, in about a week from Canada. Yeah, I would have guessed you were yes. a cat living in LA. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Steve! Steve, you have no idea. I will. I will send you spray paint every day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, this is amazing. Oh, guys, guys! Just so you know, on the big screen right now behind me is the Van Halen story. Oh, DVD. Ooh. Nice. 
with our friend uh, from the Van Halen store, uh, Jeff Hausman, is actually the first person on the video. That's cool. Great. Awesome. So check this out. Since I just, this is what I just opened. This is. The there it original, is. The original Star Trek TV series. And all of them. All, all of them. Made wow. Them. All 76? <laughs> yeah. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> 76 oh, DVDs. <laughs> there's, all, there's like a, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, 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 Three years. Three years. It's three. Uh, three seasons. And the wow. last season, you could really see that the they didn't have a lot of budget at all. No. Well, they just ran out. They ran. They didn't have budget to do this to do any of it at all. Sorry, I but the last the series, season yeah. real bad. The well, What's the it? last season they just ran out of things to to you well, know, and the budget. I do. remember reading up on the the budget that they had for the third season was like. And then I got this. Well, we we got this. All the lethal nice. weapons. Ooh. All four lethal weapons. Nice. And hey, I, got I'm an extra. I'm an extra, I think, in the third one where they're at the hockey game. So no kidding. Oh, wow. Look for me. I'm not in it. I'm so not in it. But. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> where were you seat, uh, seated, uh, Caleb? <laughs> you know, they, they had probably like uh, like 500 extras, and they just kept moving us around the, the forum because they were filming in different directions, but they wanted to make it look like it was full. <laughs> so they kept moving everyone yeah. <laughs> to fill out the back of the shot. That's awesome. <laughs> Funny. That's cool. There you go. Caleb. I've worked as an um, extra, Caleb. I understand. Oh, you, you won't meet – crazier people <laughs> than the people who do extra work constantly. Yeah. They, yeah. Professional they, extras. Yeah. And they're like always trying to sell you like some pyramid scheme or something that they're on to. <laughs> it is just, you know, you, you just, you just, you just keep to yourself because you're yep. going to, you're going to, you don't talk to the animals, you know, well, like it's, <laughs> it's, it's I, I got lucky. My uncle was directing a, an episode of a Canadian TV series he was acting in, and he just called me up one day. I was in town in Toronto, and he's like, hey, do you want to work as an extra on the show? Yeah. And I was running low on money, and it was in, like, 1991. And it, what the deal was you could get paid cash at $8 an hour. Nice. Minimum, minimum wage was 4 bucks. So already you think, okay, double minimum wage, cash at the end of the day, or – you go through the union, they cut a check at sixteen seventy five an hour, and they have to pay a minimum of six hours. So to a teenager, I'm like, done. <laughs> I will do yep. that. Thank you. And yeah, 16 bucks an hour throwing a frisbee. What was the name <laughs> of the show, Ben? Uh, ENG. It was a Canadian TV series in the late 80s, early 90s, about a, like a news channel, kind of okay. behind the scenes. It was on CTV for a number of years. And, and they, make, they make active pickups, too. Uh, e N G electronic gathering. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Actually, yeah, I got a cousin that actually still lives in L A. My uncle's son, go figure, son of the actor. He's an actor now as well. So, it's a little bit in the family there. So, awesome. Yeah, if you ever watch the movie Porky's, that was one of his highest profile things. He played the young cop. I love that. What a great movie I love that was. Well, there you oh. go. Yeah. <laughs> Alex Alex Karras is a friend of our family. He was he was the cop in that. He oh he was so cool that guy. Great yep. football, player, but great actor, great dude. Yeah, he was the older cop, and my uncle was yeah. the cop. And yeah, my he uncle was, was the young cop, the brother of the one guy, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yep. Great movie. Yep. Nice. Cool. I'll have to watch it. I've never seen it. Oh my what? god! Wow. <laughs> wow. That's like a wow. You've never, never seen, seen it. it? No. Another movie that they wouldn't be able to make nowadays. No. Yeah, Steve. Steve, send him a VHS copy of that. <laughs> yeah. VHS. Very funny. Yeah. Oh, copy. A VHS copy. Yeah. <laughs> the tab's broken off. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you can't record off, over it, right? <laughs> In big letters on on the side, do not rec- uh, record over or something. Yeah. Well, duplicate. Uh, <laughs> so funny. You know, so old. <laughs> Don't give Miss Ballbricker any any problems. Kim Cattrall. Kim Cattrall, yes. a beautiful Canadian. Yeah. Yeah, she lives on the island I live on. She yep. that's where she's uh, from. Same with uh, what's her name? Uh, Pam Anderson. Oh, uh, what's her name? Right. Yeah, she grew up about two hundred miles north of me. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, Johnny, what sh- t-shirt are you wearing underneath? <laughs> Under this shirt. <laughs> Under the jacket. What shirt are you wearing? Delph, baby. <laughs> oh, who sent you that? This one. Thank oh, you again, you. man. Yeah, that's what. I don't think Johnny remembers who sent them that. No, yeah, I he usually doesn't. He gets so much stuff. I remember. I remember. No, Steve sent me this. Uh, Dave, who's the guy that sent me the headphones? Uh, <laughs> oh, Greg Walker. See, yeah, I was gonna say, I've watched enough old episodes. I know my I knew that one. On you knew that one. I almost did. Are you have you dug back far enough to see me wearing the headphones with the duct tape? Oh, dude, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, they're probably still right in front of them. <laughs> yeah. They're, yeah, they're over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but we, we've got some actual questions here. Um, oh. G G is asking, uh, does anybody know if a Mexican Wolfgang special neck will fit on a Wolfgang standard body? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Probably recommend it. <laughs> See, when you when you have this many people in here, everybody has to answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And Jay Hannon has the Mexican guitar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, what did uh, the China, 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 China can? Caleb said, yeah. Mexican. Yeah. Mexican. China can, whatever it is. <laughs> I love it that it's from two different places. I love it, Jay. I love that you built, like, sort of. I didn't build anything. I almost ruined no, it. No, no, no. I'm saying you had your own creation. Well, you did a bit of sanding. Let's not forget <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's international. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's got a German Floyd on it, right? German Floyd, yep. Yeah. It's Crazy the UN model. The world. There it is, see? You just, in the did house. you just call that the UN model? I did. <laughs> I wonder where this where this clip-on tuner is made. I'm trying to, you know, an equal opportunity guitar. Yeah. Well, hey, aren't the brass blocks, the FU tone stuff, isn't that a jersey? American made? Dirty jersey? Hey, what do you guys have planned for tomorrow night, St. Patrick's Day? What are you guys doing? Nothing. I'm working all weekend. Oh. Yeah. Caleb, St. Uh, Patrick's Day, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I have no plans. I mean, oh, okay. I, I have kids, so I have no plans. Okay. You guys don't dress up in green and have a party? No. You know, I, oh. I you know, I like to be pinched, so <laughs> I purposely don't wear green on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> what about you, Dave? St. Patty's Day, did you do anything? I'm gonna fly to LA and beat Caleb's kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Hannon, St. Patty's Day. What are you doing? Um, I have to get up at like eight something because uh, I have to go to a St. Patrick's Day parade. Yes. Oh. No, 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 not yes. I don't want to wake up that early. I have a hard enough time. Really, are you gonna dress in a kilt? <laughs> if I had one. Send him one, Steve. Send him one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's unbox that. Thanks, yeah, Scott. It's not Irish. <laughs> Yeah, so I have, I have I a green it. T-shirt that I've worn the past t- ten, probably uh, St. Patty's days. Yeah, Johnny Bean, St. Patrick's Day. You do anything? He doesn't celebrate holidays. <sighs> I'm kind of wearing green already. I'll I'll be reading. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'll be doing. But look at this. You guys see see this T-shirt? I think. Uh... <laughs> oh my God! Come. <laughs> I need that. that I need that. 
There That's the coolest St. Patrick's Day shirt I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> that shirt wins St. Patty's Day. I have to have that. In fact, I need that. I got to have it. What's your shirt size, Dave? <laughs> Did you win the lottery? <laughs> it's coming. Boys, hey, boys small. Very small. <laughs> yeah. he, he also wears a medium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm blurry. Yellow. Where's the yellow card? Gary Kramer guitars. Wait. <laughs> uh yes, R2, R3. <laughs> uh yeah. No, I've never done anything on St. Patrick's Day ever. Really? Never ever. No. Nope. <laughs> It's not a big uh, Irish contingent in the Santa Cruz uh, area. <laughs> uh, probably, probably not. Okay, I don't think so. <clears throat> but Dave, you must have a lot of uh, Irish people in the New York area, don't you? I would imagine. Oh yeah. yes. I would imagine. Irish. Who what? Irish. Uh, apparently, my girlfriend's half Irish. I don't go. know which half. But I'll fi I'll figure that out later. <laughs> hey now, BB8. Uh yes. Well, anyway, I, I uh we have some tentative plans for for uh, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow night. Uh, oh. My buddy Dennis is playing at the, the Suffolk Theater Ooh. Nice. Uh, with his band, The Lords of 52nd Street. Nice. Which is, uh, you know, Billy Joel's original band, the, the guys oh, yeah. in Billy's band. Nice. And like I'm just waiting to hear back at whether or not there will be tickets waiting for us. So. Yeah, you saw them uh, a month ago, didn't you, Dave? Yeah, less than a month ago, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dennis yeah. came over and had some dinner with us last night and, and said, well, by the way, playing Suffolk tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Yeah. His playing always blows me away. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he just bought the one of the coolest guitars on the planet. He, he just bought uh, a a, um, a Rickenbacker three twenty five, like uh, like John Lennon's original, the the, the oh, little yeah. maple, the little maple globe. Oh, it's nice. cool. so cool. No doubt. Wow. Huh. Yeah. One of his uh, reviews from the Music Zoo. I was on YouTube the other day, and it just popped up. Yo, like we recommend. Yeah, I'm like, yes, of course. I'll watch anything he plays. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, great player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, Johnny, did your uh, band that you played the Oscar night with, you guys are booking another gig, you said, coming up? Yeah, yeah, I think um, soon. Right on. Mm -hmm. But you don't know where it is or... No, no, I don't. I, I don't. I don't run that band. The singer does. <laughs> yeah, I just. I, I'll get. A, I'll get an email saying, "Hey, are you available?" You know, on for this date. Yeah. And then let's you know let's try to do at least one or two rehearsals beforehand. You know. Right on. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about your gig, Steve? Don't you have a gig coming up soon? Yeah, tomorrow night, St. Patty's Day. Uh, it's a big. A uh, house party about five miles from here. Uh, my buddy in his garage, we set up, and there's people in the garage watching, people in the driveway, there's people in the house, there's people in the yard. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the whole community <laughs> sort of gets together. So, uh, Are you going to yeah. tell people to get crazy? Uh, oh, yeah. We'll be getting crazy. <laughs> Are you going to say so-and-so is in the house, get crazy, everybody dance? Oh. You betcha, man. On, you betcha. Tell us. Tell us. That's, tell us that oh, that's, that's, that's Dave Nesdal's line. No one else gets that. <laughs> well, just, just just don't say it in Spanish. 
<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I guess we all we all now have to sub to Steve's channel so he can go live tomorrow night, and so we can all. Yeah, listen. yeah, we're we're uh, gonna work on it. But I've been in Jimi Hendrix mode for about a month now because I gotta sing and play guitar. So uh, some songs I can do, some I can't. But uh, yeah, the guys I play with, it's a lot of classic rock stuff. But uh, yeah, just figure out. Uh, I always have to come in with new songs, so. Uh, yeah, usually three new songs I bring in. So yeah, I usually start off the set, and then uh, then we have a bunch of regular songs that we uh, we normally do. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be good times, and uh, yeah, celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow night. So uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, uh, people have been asking us questions. Hang on a second. I got to go back in the in the chat here because yeah. I remember someone asking about the pickups in the signature series EVH. Hang on one second. Jay Hannon has one of those. You better grab it. Uh, okay, more guitars. Says Dave Nesdal, is there anything different about the USA signature pickups versus the non-signature USA models? I thought I watched a reference to that mentioned by an EVH rep but can't find it anywhere. Yes, the um, neck pickup in the si in the signature I believe believe is an Alnico 3 pickup. That's and correct. in the regular USA Wolfgang it's an Alnico 2 pickup. Alnico 2 magnet pickup. So it's going to be a little bit hotter than the than the regular USA Wolfgang. I hope that uh, answers your question, and sorry for waiting so long to answer that. But, you know, when you get six people uh, talking to each other, it's very hard to, to pay attention to the chat. So. Yes. Who, who, who asked that question, Dave? That would be more guitars. So more guitars, um, if, I don't, if you don't mind me chiming in here, Dave. Um, I definitely, I know that it's a different guitar and any, you know, you can put the same pickup in two different guitars and they're going to sound different, but I definitely prefer the Al Nico three neck pickup. Um, it is hotter, but it's, it's clearer. Um, it's just got more something, it's something to it that it, it just, it sounds great. And I was thinking, just leave this one in here. But the more I listen to that one, it's just like, man, I, this one doesn't sound as good. So I, I might switch this out for a uh, – what's going on over there? <laughs> Dave just turned back on you. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's I might, I might switch this out for a Zebra um, <laughs> if, if I can – well, if, if he ever comes out with it, an Al Nico 3 uh, pickup. I'm just going to leave this here for a little while. Oh, he was going to get something. Okay. Yeah, he, he took like the ladder, you know, the ladder they have in the libraries. <laughs> yeah. He went and hopped on that top shelf. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it was it was like Lex Luthor on the ladder. Yes, Luthor, Luthor. Mr. Lex Luthor. Ladder. You know, Mr. And, then, and then uh, Fender Guru said they wanted to see this, so I, I yes, I, I was able to get away, and there you go. There it is. You Those, can get away anytime, Johnny. There that's is, a man. great sounding neck pickup, by the way. Yeah, because I I've noticed it with this one. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> We're twins. Sort of. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine mine's got a, a original Floyd on it. That Floyd was taken off my Kramer Focus One Thousand. Oh, right there. And I, I put the D-Tuna D -tuna on myself. Oh, what does it say? I know they, they all said different things. So. Uh, mine, mine doesn't say anything. Maybe maybe it said EVH at one point, and it just, it just rubbed off. Or maybe it said D-Tuna. I'm not sure, but it, it doesn't say anything on it. Right there. Yeah, it probably rubbed off. Yeah, so I think the new ones now say EVH on them, right? They got the yeah. Like, they got that logo on them. Yeah, the, the older ones maybe said D Tuna on them, maybe. Right here, yeah. Right in. Say something. Say something. Right in. There it is. 
Right here, all right? Right here. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, cheers are to the genie because Jay's being drink? a good boy. Uh, well, drink. that's blue. That's right. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, yeah. That's the stuff right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Johnny's got his red pants on. Got the red pants. Ah, oh, you got to have the red pants, man, and the van. They want. They the wanted the name show. They hey, wanted the name show. I got my vans on too, buddy. Me too. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Adidas. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some custom-made vans again. The custom colors and stuff. Again? You wait a minute, Dave. <laughs> wait, 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 Whoa. Wait a Whoa. What? Old Doniker Dave over there. <laughs> He's showing us how it fits right through that that eyelid. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to know what size uh <laughs> is it brass? <laughs> <laughs> Scott Nickerson says, I need vans. Yes, everybody needs vans. Everybody needs vans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've even got a Vans t-shirt. Not this one, but I've got... Yeah. Maybe I've a got a couple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where I vacation, there's a Vans outlet store. So it's like 60 to 75% off retail. And it's already cheaper in the US than in Canada. And it's just like a pickup vans for 20, 30 bucks a pair. And I'm just loading up on shoes. Yeah. Man, I could have just taken them off. There they are. Right? <laughs> just take them off. You know, as the belly gets bigger, it gets harder and harder to lift your leg over your head. But yeah, there's, there it is. So. Does anybody know the history on those? Were, were they around before the movie, or were they created for Spicoli's character? <laughs> I think they were there before, Caleb. Yeah. Okay. But not by many years, just a no. like, handful of years. I was thinking mid-70s they came out. <laughs> Somebody Google that. Jay Hannon, Google. Van Shoes. When did they come out? I'm on it. Well, yeah, they're, they're talking about them already. Van style slip on, yeah. The slip ons were later. I mean, my brother used to wear the, the, the lace up ones. Yeah, I mean, when he was in like junior high back in, yeah, like, no, I'm talking there. about the checkerboard. Like, yeah. what was the checkerboard for the movie? Like, okay, well, the, the company was founded in 1966. Whoa, as, as the Van Doren Rubber Company, <laughs> rubber company, so they made. So they made other things too. Yeah, they, they, yeah. They but made yeah, injunction molding business. I'd imagine of some kind. Safety first. <clears throat> yeah, there was a van store in uh, Florida, New York, about forty minutes away from where I used to live, and uh, you could go in there, and they had this book you flip through, and you can get every single, you know, bunch of different custom patterns on there. Uh, it was neat. Yeah. Yeah, we have a store. We have a store, Jay, in Victoria here. It's called uh, Baggins, like B A G G I N S. And you can like get them custom made. If you want your face <laughs> on a pair. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like Converse All Star, sort of like the like the EVH gear uh, high tops, sort of like that. Mm -hmm. But you can get them like custom done, whatever you want on it. They'll they'll make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, we got we got to get Vans or uh, wait, Vans or Converse? Converse. We got to get them with your face on them. <laughs> what about poof? <laughs> or poof and your face on them. <laughs> How about poof right over his face? Yeah. <laughs> or put put Steve's face on the little. <laughs> <laughs> you want Steve's face on your nipple? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, Blackie DH had the special order Hawaiian vans. Uh, is, aren't those the ones that uh, Weird Al used to wear when uh, he used to co-host or host an MTV show and it was Al TV? Remember that? Mm -hmm. yeah, back in the 80s? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he used to come back from commercial and his, his, leg, his legs would be behind his head. 
<laughs> oh man, most of the days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I wear my my slip on Vans as indoor shoes. I don't wear them out outside. I wear uh, those, whatever those are, right there. Um, but Jay, I noticed you you wear yours all the time. I wear mine all the time. Yeah, and they're, mm -hmm. they're I th I think they're comfortable. You know, yeah. I'll wear a pair of Nikes and I'm like, man, my feet kind of hurt. And I'll put these on. It's like, you know, it's like a sock. It's perfect. Perfect fit. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's my favorite pair of Vans. Uh oh. Oh. Got to talk when you do that. Oh, sorry. Here we what go. Are they? Bandana style. Are they, what do they have? Snowflakes on them? Oh, no. No, it's like a bandana. Oh. They're actually my dress shoes these days. Nice. Yeah. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there, there you are. Oh, oh. All right, here we go. Well, there we are. <laughs> Wait. Oh, let's get laces out of the way. You wear them at weddings? Laces out, Dan. I I've actually, I wore these when I played in my one time playing in a wedding band. Wore these with the velour burgundy sports jacket. So, yeah. <laughs> Thus, the only time you ever played a wedding. Yeah. So imagine that. <laughs> But I will be wearing them in a wedding uh, that I'm actually in the wedding party this fall. So Cool. That's funny you say that because that's what I'm looking for. When Jeannie and I got married in 2010, we wore Vans, and I'm trying to find a picture, and of course now I can't. But, yeah. Well, you got to have comfortable shoes. You're going to be on your feet all day, right? Oh, I, awesome. I wore my white EVH uh, striped sh shoes for my wedding, or half there of it. Go. We did a change. <laughs> Mm -hmm. A mid-show wardrobe change. Pretty much, yeah. We we, we got married late in the in the whole uh, affair, so we kind of set the mood and then got married ah. <laughs> instead of at the instead of at the top, mm. like most people. Mm -hmm. Hey, Fender Guru, you're welcome, man. Yeah, yeah. This is Van Chat. <laughs> Not Van Halen, just Van. van. Yeah. We forgot about the Halen. Quality yeah. footwear. Yep. <laughs> Originally out of Costa Mesa. Nice. Not not far from the Nam show. No, no. I, I played a I played a gig at a at a store. I don't know, Caleb, you might know about this place. It was, um, they had a storefront, but in the back, they would have live music. And this was in Costa Mesa. Yeah. Well, Costa Mesa um, to me is like, uh, yeah, it's like Monterey to you. So it's far. Oh, okay. It's, it's like, like yeah, it's, it's 50 miles for me. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not out in Costa Mesa much. I mean, you've flown into L.A. from the east. It's like if you're flying over lights and grid for 30, 40 minutes. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then you get to the edge. That's where the airport is at the ocean. So mm -hmm. it just goes on forever. If you fly in at night, it's the craziest thing. If you fly to Los Angeles, it mm -hmm. never ends. You're like, how big is this place? It's, it's bigger than Rhode Island or something, the whole area. So. Ain't bigger than Texas. Too. Yeah. No, but Texas is dark. Alexis? Huh? Alexis, Texas. Alexis, Texas. Uh huh. Well, that well, that's what it's like when you drive when you drive in. You know, you drive through the, over the the grapevine or whatever. Yeah. And you're you're just stuck in traffic for you know two hours or whatever, three hours. You know, trying to get. And that's just to get into the valley, which is north of Los Angeles. So it's yeah. And whereabouts are you, Caleb? I'm in Santa Monica. Oh, I, my cousin actually lives in Santa Monica. He used to be a tennis pro at the Santa Monica Tennis Club. There What's you his go. name? Uh, What's Zeke, his name? Uh, Zeke Hindel. H-I-N-D-L-E. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he'd be 30-ish uh, in age, I'd say. Yeah. Gave up on tennis, now he decided to be an actor. Is it? Wow. It's usually the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Mesa or Mesa, does anybody here or in the chat have 
a recto cab that they don't use the caster wheels anymore because I would like to buy them. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Steve, Steve, you're supposed, to, is you're supposed to pick them up. They're, they're at your feet. That's where they are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Steve, if you have a... <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Marshall cabinet that has wheels, but uh, I'm using that tomorrow. So, <laughs> Well, the, the, the Mesa Recto cabs have the... Um, uh, I forget what they're called, the track lock system or something. So you push a button and they slide out. I just need the wheels with the with the plate that they, you know, is attached to the wheel. I have the um whatchamacallits, the tracks are on the bottom of the cab, but I took them off years ago at the place we used to practice at and they're gone. So but I want to get I want them back. You should be able to find something like that on eBay pretty easily, I bet. You ever looked? They're yeah, they're expensive. Oh, and I went to Home Depot and Lowe's, but the ones that are made for the recto cab, the ones they made, have square plates on top. Yeah, and every yeah. other ones you, you see on, uh, like at the hardware stores, they're all like the rectangle size plates. They don't fit. Do they sell them? They do. And I tried uh, calling them today, and they're only open Monday through Thursday, which, in my opinion, yeah, every yeah. place should be open Monday through Thursday. Yeah, they're closed on Fridays. And yeah. You'll be paying crazy money for them through buggy. Wow. You can't cut down the plate size on ones from, say, Lowe's? They're probably They're probably proprietary. You probably yeah. can only get them from buggy. Yeah. Just get a dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, right now, because I have carpet up here, and I have those um, furniture moving things I put up to the bottom of them. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just, But I want to get it off the floor, because I got, I got to uh, reamp some guitars soon. And I don't want to have the cabinet on the on the floor, you know, picking up that extra oomph. So. Doesn't Eddie like, he likes it the wood on wood? If I had wood floors up here, maybe, but, I mean, I've had... I don't know. I guess it, it all matters. It all depends on what you're used to doing or what you prefer, but I don't know. Plus, the kitchen is right below my room. And I like to oh, man. I like to have an amplifier kind of loud when I'm when I'm uh, micing stuff or amping stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. it, is, is it a 212 or a 412? No, it's a 412, standard oh. size. Oh, yeah. man. Because I was going to say, just go get one of those milk uh, crates. So crates. Get, some, get a so crates. You know? Yeah, but I, I want to be able to no. wheel it around. I don't want to have to pick it up. I mean, I have a road case for it, but the road case is just too bulky and too big. I just want to get rid of it. Oh, okay. Zach Moon uh, says, Dave, any comment on Eddie's Kramer shoes from the 1985 guitar show interview? No. <laughs> <laughs> was He was joking, right? That's the one, that's the one where he was really kind of rude, right? That, that interview? Yeah. yeah, he was he – was, he was wasted. Yeah. To say the least. <laughs> yeah. That they weren't Kramer shoes. I think they were Capizios, actually. Yeah, I think he was just making a joke, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could see you could see Dennis wasn't wasn't really liking <laughs> he was laughing, but he wasn't liking it. So was wasn't representing well that interview. Um, R2R3 says, uh, I have a Marshall cabinet, so I can't help, but I have a Mesa Simulclass 290. That's what I have. And I'm starting to get a static noise. Have you replaced your tube since you bought it? No, I haven't. And I have a brand new set and I, I'm afraid to do it. I don't want to change my tubes. Don't you have to do something, Dave? When you change your tubes? Well, in heads, but if it's just, if it's a power amp. It's just a power amp. Yeah, just a power amp. No, you don't need no, to. You don't need fine. to uh, bias a power amp. No. Just, uh, just in a regular amplifier. Oh, I didn't know that because I was. I'm like, man, I hope this thing doesn't go when I'm in the middle of uh, reamping all these guitars. I'll be like, crap. But a static noise. I would. I would just call Mesa. Personally, you is know? it Mesa? It's Mesa, right? Maybe if you're from, if you're from people California, call it, people call it boogie. People call it Mesa. It's okay. just, it's like nobody it's calls like, it Mesa except for me. It's like Volvo and Volvo kind of thing. Like 
Vulva? Deckles, deckles or decals? Deckles or decals, right. <laughs> or nipple. <laughs> well, we made Caleb's late. Somebody said deckles. He's good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I finally I... caught the late show from last week, last night after I did my show. And I was just laughing hysterically. Oh, so it was that funny, was, right? It was it a good was, one. It was awesome. Yeah, it was a good one. And I do love the adventures with Caleb. Will Cable, Caleb get mugged wherever he's gone to see Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coming. That's always exciting. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> nobody plays in venues in the nice part of town. No. no. He's in Reseda or he's at the Whiskey. <laughs> There's no venues. There's no venues no. in the nice parts. No, exactly. Like People ask me, do you play in nice bars? No, nice bars don't have live music. Nope. Johnny, we got to start doing a. Uh, it's almost like a news broadcast. We're like, we're on location with Caleb. Yeah. <laughs> Caleb, are you there? Have the yeah. helicopter sound effect coming in. <laughs> Let's do it. Do that again with your mouth next time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gabe, yeah, everyone log off. Would a static noise would that be because of your tubes be going? Could be preamp tubes, maybe. Yeah. But there's no preamp tubes in the power in the Simul Class 290. Oh. Could it be a dirty, dirty pots? Yeah. Capacitor could be failing. Could be bad. Uh, it could be bad power in the house. Could be a lot of things. Because both me and uh, my other guitar player got our, our uh, power amps at the same time, and he's had to have his repaired probably three or four times now, and I've never had an issue with mine. Mm -hmm. Um, do you gig with yours? Does he gig with his? Is it you know bouncing mine, around in a car? Mine was on the road for almost three years, and I never had an issue. He did, but did you have it in a in a shock mounted rack or a regular rack? Shock mounted. And was his in a shock mounted rack or a regular rack? So it was basically the same racks, except his was a eight rack and mine was a sixteen. But who knows, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It, it, there's, there's all kinds of variables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, R2R3 just said there is two 12X7 preamp tubes in them. Are there really? Hold on a second. That shows how much I know about these damn things. That's why don't ask me any questions. <laughs> I'll be right back. I got to check something. He's going to check to see if there are any preamp tubes in this Yeah, Yeah, it's probably, uh, it's probably the... The uh, I don't know if you'd call it V1 in a power amp, but it's probably the first preamp tube that's making noise. Yeah. Johnny, wake up. <laughs> Where is he? He's there. Okay. Sleep. He's tweeting. No, I was. I'm looking. Um... He's tweaking. <laughs> tweaking. Steve, Steve, I sent you my address. Thanks, buddy. No, thank you. Romeo no, no. Delight. Romeo Delight has a great question. He says, yeah. so I have a question. Do pickups lose their magnetism over time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just if like you're lucky. If you're lucky, just, they do. Just like <laughs> people. Not better in time. <laughs> so wait a minute. What about if you have like a box of a bunch of pickups all sitting next to each you other? You don't want pickups if you have a box of pickups you should you should make sure that they're all individually packaged yeah yeah but what if you mean <laughs> can, can they can they be packaged in like plastic and be sitting on top of another one i think so i just think that they can't they can't be touching, touching. Yeah. yeah because um you know you can you can you can roll them up in paper towels and put them next to each other and that's fine Wow. So Dave, so Dave, have you ever had that with your replicas behind you? I mean, you're always playing a different one for the most part, but uh, have you ever had that with one of your replica guitars where, you, oh man, you know what? This pickup doesn't sound as good as it used to. I'm going to replace it. Does that happen to you? No. 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 Okay. It's happening. In fact, I, I, I wish, I wish at some at some times that that some of those pickups do stop working so I could change them. Yeah. Huh. Uh, there's that, like I said, I've said in other uh, shows, in my 1984, I have a Frankenstein pickup. Yep. And although I like that pickup in certain guitars, I don't like it in that guitar. It's just, it's too muddy sounding. It's too heavy, too heavy a pickup for, for that, for that uh, poplar body. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Another yeah. question. But yeah, they can wear out, Steve. Uh, my dad had two neck pickups wear out in his 67 Tele. He got about five years out of them before they wore out. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. If I've had these these uh, tubes in a bo in these boxes yep. for 13 years, yeah. are they still good? Yeah, yeah. probably. Unless they're they still would... banged around. Yeah, no. probably better than most of the ones that are being sold right now. Because I've never changed the tubes in my uh, in my power amp. You should you should trade those for caskers. Hell no! Bad boys, man. To a box, aren't these expensive? Six L sixes. Just put those underneath. Those, well, those just round. Because, the, just because <laughs> they can't the hard boogie on them, they're probably expensive. But they're, they're round. They're not. They're not terribly expensive. <laughs> to begin with. Yeah. You know, tubes, power amp tubes are probably about twenty two dollars for a match set. Mm -hmm. But boogies are more expensive because boogies, you know, they they they're notorious for charging a lot of money. I mean, are these good? The They're okay. Uh oh. I mean, tubes are tubes. They're Chinese, I believe. One of them sounds like a broken light bulb. Man, that's no good. Uh -oh. I, well, I, I heard, I heard that. Hey, you heard that? <laughs> I heard it. Hey, Eduardo. <laughs> Romeo Delight has a part two to his question. He says, "Dave, so is there a way to demagnetize them to make them more vintage sounding?" I don't have an answer to that. I, I probably wouldn't try because it's probably an easy way to ruin a set of pickups. But, um, yeah, I, I would just uh, probably, you know, do some homework and, and figure out what pickups you'd like, you know, what, you know, what sound you're going for and just replace them. Probably be easier. If you want a more PAF y, you know, 50s Gibson style pickup, then put a pickup in there that does that instead of trying to demagnetize the ones you have in your guitar because chances are you're going to ruin them. Mm -hmm. I have another stupid question. There no, no stupid questions, Jay. Oh, there are. And I'm no. about to ask one. No. Um, Free game. Go for it. So. If I wanted to mix match EL 34s and 6L6s, no, blow the house up. <laughs> yes, you can't. You can't, do it. Okay. you can't mix them up because there are two. The uh, the sockets are different. Which ones are in the uh, 6505? The PV. They're 6L6s. Okay. I mean, should I put EL 34s in my uh, power amp? I don't know that you can, dude. You yeah. have to see what's in there and put what's in there. It, if you want something else in there, it, it might be a major overhaul. Okay. You can't just put whatever you want in there for the sake of doing it. Yeah. It's not like changing oh, your really? favorite set of strings. No, no, but it's not like changing a set of strings to a different gauge. It's, you know, it's, it's way different. Yeah. Okay. Different like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've been told, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> he shows up uh, later tonight on like, looking like Fire Marshal Bill or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. So now we're getting different PL guitar says it's it's called the simul class because you can use both. I don't know if he. I don't know if he means mix it. I gotta download the. I have the. It wouldn't be. It would be an. It, you game. can't. Whatever you do, it has to be a matched set. That's what I'm saying. If you, you're not you saying you can mix and match. I'm, you can't put yeah. one six L six and one EL thirty four. And in general, you can't. If you have an amp that has six L sixes, you mm -hmm. can't put EL thirty fours in it. In a simul class, if that's what it's made to do, then you can do that. But if it's not made to do that, then you can't. Mm -hmm. See, I, I don't. I don't know what a simul class is. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not up on boogie power amps, but if obviously if, I'm not either, <laughs> I, <laughs> I use it. <laughs> oh man, I'll have to look up in the uh, in the manual. Actually, if, I, if I'm going to call on Monday and see if I can get some uh, caster wheels, I might as well ask them. You know, mm -hmm. see what happens. 
But the fact that I haven't changed the tubes that are in that thing since I got it in 04. That's crazy, right? Hmm. If they don't need it, they don't need it. You got good tubes. Can you tell the difference, Jay? Is it faded at all? Or can you tell? I, I honestly haven't had that on in uh, probably, it hasn't been fired up in probably almost two years. <laughs> wow. Mm hmm. Oh, fire it up. Give it a shot. Sorry, no, no, I have. I'm sorry. I had it on about a, uh, a little over, yeah, about a year ago. Zach Moon says, Dave, how do you keep all your guitars maintained next straight, playing great, and in tune, long-term storage? <laughs> I don't. I, uh, I worry about it as I play them. If, if I pull a guitar down and it needs to set up, I'll do it right then and there. Uh, but I don't, you know, I don't check my you go nuts doing that every day you know or, or, or on a regular basis i have too many guitars to even worry about keeping them all set up well it's it's just if i decide i want to play a specific guitar that day and it needs a setup i'll do the setup first miss Me? test marker <laughs> <laughs> miss test marker uh oh you're giving him ideas. <laughs> He'll lead an Otis, too, though. Yeah. My mother lives in Hackensack. <laughs> what, and he looks at his watch? So... No. Yep. Uh, <laughs> was it the TV version of that? Where he was feeding her to the, uh, to the, the lions or whatever? Was that the ABC TV version? I don't remember that. At the end, where Superman comes flying down and he saves her, <laughs> is that in the regular version? Superman two? I don't. I don't think so. Superman two was the the uh, the bad people from, from Krypton. They come out of they come out of the record album. Remember <laughs> <laughs> the record album, floating in space. <laughs> yes, the flying the flying disc or yeah. the flying uh, mm, the where? flying square. Yeah. Circle gets a square. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's like three different versions of that movie. Out? Yeah. Yeah. There's the, the original version. There's the ABC TV version, mm. which has like, like what, like a whole hour worth of more stuff. <laughs> and, and then there's the, the Donner uh, cut. Which has an entirely different beginning. Is it the first one or the second one? The second one. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. I did not know that. And and they actually filmed. We're talking about Superman now. They actually filmed the first Superman and the second Superman at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? I didn't know that either. Yeah. Yeah, and they did a lot of like pickup shots. So if you watch like later on in the Superman Two, you'll not notice that uh, Margot Kidder is wearing a wig because her hair is different. Wow, Johnny, you're just a regular goddamn it. Damn. <laughs> I woke up. Somebody mentioned something, and I snapped out of it. <laughs> well, you two hosers in the chat or in the uh, in the yeah. thing right now, you'll know that um <laughs> at the uh, the waterfall. What the hell is it? Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Yeah, there you go. Um, I visited Niagara Falls in, man, when the hell was it? 1997, wow. something like that. And the rail, the railings were painted green, right? But underneath where they were chipping, it was red. And I was like telling people, oh, you see the red? Superman 3. The railings <laughs> were red. And everyone's looking at me like, two. Superman 2. <laughs> They go, on, uh, they go on their honeymoon, or they go, they go, uh, <laughs> they get the, the honeymoon suite. Oh, I'm thinking about the, the Richard Pryor part when, you know, goes over and grabs him, whatever. Oh. That's three, right? No, well, I, I do remember that they, they go to. <laughs> He's gotten really nerdy now. Yeah. No. Talk about the you guys want to know the truth? <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Okay. Richard Pryor was in the third one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Niagara Falls is the second one. Is it? 
That's the second one. Yeah. But there is a scene in Superman 3 where Richard Pryor skis off a building wearing a pink uh, tablecloth. Yeah. And also, Superman 3 was entirely filmed in Canada. So maybe that's why people are looking at me like I was an idiot. <laughs> they're like, it's yeah, Superman that's why, 2. Yeah. This guy's a clown. That's why. Yeah. Okay. Didn't you know? Come on. Yeah. Can't you see his big red nose? Yeah, he, he remember he gives up his powers and then mm -hmm. they go they go to Niagara Falls. Yeah, that's right. No, they don't because he had powers, right? Because he saved the girl. He saved, he saved the kid. They saved the kid. The right. kid that was playing around. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it funny how your mind can make things up? I remember in my mind seeing him save Richard Pryor over Niagara Falls and it was completely different. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, like that. Want to see. The Superman is is the the Pryor Brando connection, right? I was just like, yeah. 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 Oh, look at that. Although, they were really. <laughs> God. This... I, lo I love those movies. Yeah. When those movies came out on DVD in uh, 2000, I, I got them and watched them. Oh, the, the first times. movie, when, when he be becomes Superman, and, you know, like, they the guy goes, that is a bad outfit. And he goes, excuse me. And just takes off. And the guy's like, woo. Yeah. If you're like 10, it's the greatest thing in the world. So, yeah. Oh, it's still it. It's yeah. No. When, he's run, when he's running across that street, opening up a shirt, that, that part still is the greatest thing in the world. Yep. <laughs> he kicked Joe Lewis's ass. Christopher huh? Reeves, man. He was the best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, well, but, but then you get to Superman 4. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's like Jaws 4. Uh, yeah. They made a fourth Jaws? Yeah. Oh, yeah, with Michael Caine, who, who was in every movie. He had to be in a Jaws movie. It's like uh, RoboCop 3. It's like, whoa, what the heck were they even thinking? Oh. First one I saw, was great. Yeah. I saw First the, one was amazing. Yeah. I saw the original Poltergeist uh, last weekend, and man, I was sucked right in. <laughs> I was seeing stuff. I had <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. I, I look like I'm about to be sucked in. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Jaws: The Revenge, right? Oh. What What about Jaws in 3D? Oh, <laughs> I what saw it in the theater. All the scenes are like. That's what's funny about those older 3D movies is you watch them without the glasses, like on HBO. And it's nothing but stuff flying at the camera and, and yeah. bumping into the to the screen and yeah yeah. How about Jaws thirty three and one third? Uh huh. <laughs> Was that the Naked Gun three thirty three and one third? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Naked Gun two and a half. Well, I remember years ago they were got announced or something. They were thinking about doing another Spaceballs movie, and they were just going to call it Spaceballs three. <laughs> Skip two, go right to three. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, they they better hurry like up, man. Mel's Mel's not getting any younger. S smells, smells, S smells broke. Um. Uh. So what? <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's Johnny talk. For are we good? We good. <laughs> well, it's been two hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Join us later. Yeah. yeah. I'd like are to see we, Johnny, are we doing up. a uh, late show tonight? Um. Hmm. That means no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I don't be know. watching a replay of the late show tomorrow at work. <laughs> Why don't you just replay this one later uh -huh. tonight? Too. Replay this show later tonight, and it'll be the late show, featuring all the same guests. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see what's uh right. That's Canadian for nope. <laughs> oh, Zeke just said uh hey, it was gonna be called Spaceballs 3, the search for two. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Spook on Star Trek 3, the search for Spock. That's right. Yeah, that's even better. And apparently R2 R3 was asking Johnny if you're going to Gearfest. No, I'm not. I will be. Mm -mm. By the way, I, I went three-quarter inch. 
Uh, oh my God. Know. Yeah. But uh, there you go. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> In silver? <laughs> That's right. Nice. I made the drip. <laughs> <laughs> you get a shot for that. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Well, hey, let's 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 turn the camera off. Then we can we can still sit here for you know a few minutes. Uh, what if we turn the camera off? Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> we never do that. Oh, no. don't no. hang up. I mean, we all hang up as soon as Johnny goes off. <laughs> I, I I will be going on. <laughs> Look out! No 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> All right. All right. Turn off the camera. Oh, how many? Ben, good to see you, man. Hey, good to see you, man. Cool, cool new uh, new set. Thank you. Right there, Caleb. Congratulations on on your new on your yes. glasses, man. That's that's amazing. Yeah. Keep and, an eye on the. On and the, you're on the stainless steel 5150. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Dave, congratulations on your Star Trek box set. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be playing with my box set later. And your, <laughs> and your BB-8. Yes. Yes, Dave Bruce. <laughs> Jay, congratulations on on finding those casters, man. Why did somebody say they're going to send them to me? <laughs> Well, no, congratulations on trying to get some, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> putting it out there. Yeah. 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 But yeah, no, it, do it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to put it out there. You oh, know, man. we've got 50 something people looking at this. You know, it's possible. And in the future, yeah. you know, somebody might see this and, and think, oh, and poof, you know. poof, they'll show up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, what's your Steve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great to see you man literally it's, i've never seen you in the daylight so it's it's great to actually see you thanks for having me here guys awesome <laughs> congratulations on your nut thanks man and caleb's getting my old nut <laughs> awesome just make sure you shave it first okay yeah. god gross wow <laughs> all right uh G, see you, man. And G, it was great, great to meet you at the Nam show, man. Uh, all right, we'll see everybody later. And yeah, if we happen to go live later on, sometime tonight, make sure you you click the bell right here on the channel, so you'll know uh, when we're on. Although I'm thinking a lot of you maybe already did because when we go live, people tend to it fills up really quick. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So, actually, Thank let you. us know. Let us know in the chat how many of you uh, get the alerts uh, every time. Uh, yeah. Every time we go on. I clicked. Huh? Hashtag clicked. Click. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, by the way, subscribe to, to Ben's channel and Caleb's channel. Uh, they'll be in the links right down yes, below. Please. So, Steve, do you have a channel? Yes, I do. Caleb subscribed to uh, my channel the other day. I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me know. Tell, let, tell me what your when we're done. Tell me what your channel is, and I'll put it. In yeah. The, yeah. yeah. I never. Well, obviously you do, because you can only get in here if you have a channel. So obviously you do have a channel, but yeah. I just I didn't know if you, if you post to it or whatever. Yeah, it's just a mute original music that I put on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, cool. Okay. I've I've never heard that. Oh. Check that out. Thank you, uh, somebody from Riverside. I, I, I've got a brand new website. Somebody from Riverside just jumped <laughs> onto, my, onto my website. Um, River, Riverside, what, Connecticut? California. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, so go, go visit johnnybean.com. Drop some comments over there. And let me know what you think of the new, uh, new layout. And uh, we'll see you guys maybe later. So... Yeah. Rock on. Yeah. Rock on, Chicago. <laughs> Stay awake. Richmond, Virginia is in the house. All right. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Happy 50 Fun 50 Friday, and happy birthday to Wolfgang Van Halen. Yes, happy birthday, Wolfgang. All right. Yeah, it's Puck, right? See you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>